Okay, so I've put together a karate-based cardio workout for you to try at home or in your dojo. It's gonna consist of five movements that we're gonna do for one minute at a time. Okay, so you're gonna be working for one minute, rest for one minute. Work for one minute, rest for one minute. And that's gonna be one round once you've got through five, um, through all the five exercises there. You can obviously do one round or you can push it to two, to three. However your, however your fitness level is, you can take it to that level. And of course, if, if one minute's too long, you can drop it to 30 seconds and kind of cater it to your own level. So let's get started. Make sure before we start this, of course, that we have a good warm up, get the heart rate up a little bit and do some mobility and some stretching work. I'm gonna tag at the end of the video a um, link to one of my other videos that shows you a warm up routine you can do before this exercise. So these exercises are gonna be, um, as well as improving our cardiovascular fitness and our conditioning for karate, it's also gonna be working on our technique at the same time um, and improving our, our karate ability. So the first exercise is gonna be this work. Okay, we're gonna be in a, in a combined position of flight and guard stance. I'm gonna be just throwing Kizami Zuki, one, two, three, and then followed by Gakazuki. Okay, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In this, uh, in this pattern like this. Okay, what we can do is we can change legs on each one or we can have a set number you want to change after. So maybe you could do four rounds of that and then change. That's going to be done for one minute. What I want to think about when doing that is first of all thinking of my target for the front hand punch is going to the face. Okay, so always on target each time, pressing through that back leg. Then on the Gakazuki or the reverse punch, I want to turn my shoulder and my hip into that punch nice and long and sink into the stance with it. So we're getting a bit of a lunge into that as well. So that's going to look like this again. So we start the timer at one minute, and we begin. One, two, three, drop in. One, two, three, drop in. One, two, three, drop in. Okay, that's the first exercise, we go for one minute. Okay, the second exercise then, so we've had our first exercise for a minute, the heart rate is up, we're gonna have a one minute break to bring the heart rate back down again, then we're gonna ramp it up with the second one. So what we're gonna do from here is again take a flying stance, we're gonna do three switches. One, two, three, from our front kick, my guy. One, two, three, my guy. One, two, three, my guy. Okay, so it's continuous work. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. Continuous work for one minute. What I'm doing is I'm using my upper body to kind of counter that movement, as we would when we kick. I'm trying to pull that arm back as I'm switching stance. I'm doing the same, switch, switch, switch. We're doing three switches, so we're changing legs on every kick, okay? Again, the usual thing to focus with my gear then is to lift, snap the kick, and retract it afterwards. Always be co uh, conscious of our technique while we're doing this. So we're here again, one more time. One, two, three, drive off the back leg. One, two, three, drive off the back leg. Number three. Okay, so again, we've had that one minute break between the second exercise and the third one. This time, again, we're gonna get into a Kamaya position of guard. I'm gonna drop into a Gaksuki low. So I'm dropping that back leg close to the floor. Pop up with a Mawashi. Down, Mawashi. Down, round bass kick. Down, round bass kick. Down, and back up. Switch legs, low. Like I said, drop that knee. I'm touching the floor as an example, but we don't wanna to be too low. Just, just off the ground, pop up, front round bass. Pop up, round bass. Pop up and throw the kick from there. Again, we can do a number of reps first and then change legs, or we can make even single, one, switch, single, one, switch, single, one, and continue. <laughs> when I'm doing this exercise, I still want to be conscious of letting the shoulder and the hip turn in for that Gakazuki. So we're going to get tired. Don't let the technique cut. Don't, let, don't cut the technique short, sorry. Make sure the knee lift is higher for that, that Mawashi, so we're coming up. Knee up high and kick, snap the kick out. Your mobility is going to determine the height of that kick. We can go low, doesn't matter. Low kick is good as well. Do it to your level, it doesn't have to be high, okay? Okay, so number four now, we're getting there. We're going to take our flying stance again, either left or right. Now I'm just going to be moving, working some movement exercise, okay? So I'm just going to be pressing forward to one, two, back, one, two, switch. Forwards, one, two, Back, one, two, switch. And this again is for that four minute. What I don't want to do is shorten the stance and go long. I want to extend and catch. Extend and catch, okay? Same on the way back. 
Extend and catch. Extend and catch. So I'm lengthening the stance and then pulling it back in again. So from here it's a push, push and slide. Push and slide. Hold, pull. Switch, one, two, one, two. And that's again for one minute. And the final one, number five, we're going to be frying some side kicks. Your Hogeri Kikomi. So I'm going to be in a centre position now and we're going to be working side to side. So I'm going to skip up and I'm going to throw Kikomi this way. Come back, other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. And continuous. Okay, yet again, as with the Mawashi Geri, these could be low, they don't have to be high kicks. So if you've got any injuries or anything, these kicks could just be changing into the, into the chamber position each time. Chamber, 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 chamber. Okay, so you can adapt this workout to yourself. Not everything's got to be exactly like this. You can adapt certain movements that you like or don't like even. With the side kick, try to make sure we're getting like a straight line between our heel and our body. Okay, so we're trying to go in a nice straight line here. Don't have your backside sticking out or anything like this. So again, from here, skip up, side kick. Skip up, side kick. Skip up, and skip up. One after the other, continuous. This is a hard workout, okay? Um, a couple of points, really. We don't want to be going flat out from the very beginning. We want to try and pace ourselves. We don't want to be putting any kind of kimei or tension in the techniques as such. It's a bit more about being fluid and relaxed. We're just working on getting the heart rate up and moving through these techniques, okay? Um, like I said earlier in the video, cut the times down if you have to. If you want to do 30 second rounds, then that's absolutely fine. Then you can progress as your fitness increases. You can do 30 seconds, 45 and so on. Um, one time through the whole thing would be good. And then next time, maybe you go two times through. You know, try and increase the number of rounds that you're doing. If Again, if it's too difficult, other things you can change is the rest time. You could do a minute on, two minutes off, you know. To try, and, um, to try and make it a little bit more um, adapted to your kind of level of fitness and then change it as you progress. The other way around, you could go 30 seconds on, two minutes off, whatever you need to do to adapt it to make it better for you. But give it a go, let me know how many, how many rounds you get through and uh, let's see how we go.